Hi, welcome to another video from Shop Methods. Uh, today we're going to take a look at creating inspections from our tech portal that can be reviewed and approved by customers in the customer portal and then uh, back to the tech portal and uh, create the estimate and job and uh, then then uh, onto the shop portal to create the invoice and get it paid. Um, so uh, let's go. What we're going to do is we're going to be flipping between the three different portals. This right here, what we're looking at is our tech portal, and it's got the option of creating an inspection. Okay, so this is nice because this is really usable within the tablet for the uh, for the for the technician on the floor. So this is great when a car comes in. Uh, so this uh, this uh, person customer could have brought their vehicle in, and we'll just choose this one. And what we can do is, uh, let's see who the manager is. Uh, it's going to, to uh, default to the assigned tech, and we'll just go ahead and create our inspection. Uh, this can easily be done on a tablet, and they can uh, document photos and such just like that. So we're going to default everything to passing here. Uh, we're going to say, okay, the brakes need some attention. Uh, needs... brake pads we'll save that if you wanted to uh, upload any images you can do that right here a great thing here you can do this with a tablet is you can use the camera on a tablet or a cell phone straight from within shop methods so we got the brake pads that are being inspected uh, the blinkers fine uh, we'll say the roll windows roll down uh, is, is uh, driver side sticking okay so we got that. Uh, anything else? Uh, we'll say brake light is out. Uh, left. Okay. So you get the idea how we can add notes, add uh, videos if we wanted to. Uh, those will come up as thumbnails. Okay, so we've got all these different items. Uh, some, based on how you have your inspection set up, you may have. Um, text fields out here so you can say these are the comments uh, that you can pull over to the customer okay so the technician will use this on a tablet or cell phone to perform the inspection marking items that are either passing yellow for uh, for may need attention red for a fail then those can then go to the customer all we do is hit submit to the customer and what that does is it's going to change our status to pending uh, you may have heard my cell phone there a second ago. That is the customer getting a message saying, hey, uh, you just got this uh, inspection submitted to you. So what they can do is they can actually go to their uh, cell phone, click on the link within that cell phone, and it'll be taken directly to the uh, inspection. So we just, this is the actual customer portal. I'm skipping the uh, texting part, but what they would do is they would click that text link in the their cell phone message, and they would be taken directly to the inspection where they could then review. And here is the inspection that we just performed. Okay, so we got pass, pass, pass. A lot of these things. Okay, we got a red one here. Needs front brake pads. Okay, let's fix that today. Window doesn't is sticking. Uh, you know that could be really expensive with some of the window parts. Uh, we'll just we'll live with that because it's winter and maybe we don't need the window down. Uh, brake lights. Yeah, we better get that fixed. Uh, and there are comments that we added so we can see all those and then what they can do is they can approve decline the recommendations so they click that so what's going to happen is a message right then and there is going to go back to both the uh, the technician and to uh, the manager saying that hey it was done so what I'm doing here is this is this right here we're back in the technician portal and this is the home page. So this is all the jobs that they have that they work. And these are inspections. This is our test customer. So we've got a lot of different stuff. Uh, here is the one we just did. It's partial approved. And the reason it says partial approved versus just approve or decline is that uh, we, I think we, we ex approved two things. If we click on the number here, it'll pull it up. We approved two things. We approved uh, this one. We declined the window roll down. And we also approved the brake lights. Okay. So from here, we've got, we've got a few, few new things on here, and this can either be done by the manager, service rep, uh, or by the technician where uh, you can come in here and you can add the hours. Okay, so those breaks, and what, what some of our customers actually do is they'll put the, the, the cost 
or approximate cost in the notes so the customer can see that. We'll say it's gonna be 0.5 hours for this. For the brake light, we don't know. We can just leave that blank for now, okay? Uh, and what we do is just say, okay, go create the job. And it goes and does some churning out there, um, setting everything up, going and creating, automatically creating the uh, labor items for those two. Okay, so job created from inspection. And here it is right here. Okay, we can put the miles in. If the miles out are any different. Uh, so this is our actual job. So if we go to, um, so this is 11072. So if we go to our shop portal, we go and refresh this, we will see 11072 right here. That's our uh, same job being done, okay? So the manager can see it, the tech can see it. Uh, we even go back to our customer, depending on how you have your configuration set up, they may be able to see it also. Uh, and new job right here. Oh, oh, here it is, 11072, that's in process, okay? So they can always go back and look at their inspection, always go back and look at their uh, their estimate or job, uh, depending on how you get your configuration. We can ch set things up so some things are hidden, some things are shown. Uh, if you're using time and you're tracking time, your, uh, your uh, technician can clock in here. Uh, we're gonna update the hours here. They're already tracking time to it, but we'll update those hours. Save that. If they uh, need any parts, they could uh, put, go find parts that, that may be existing already. So we just grab those, add those to our job. Okay. Um, all this is going on, you know, just same thing as a normal job. And the tech, this is a technician taking care of all this. Okay. They can add notes, view notes, attachments, and uh, we're going to clock out of that time. I don't know if he actually worked anything there. But we'll save that off. And from here, what we can do is actually complete the job. Okay? So that it means that we're done with all of our work here. And, uh, and, and we're ready to create an invoice for this. So if we come back over here to our shop portal, this is where a service writer can, uh, a manager, whoever is in charge of it, can go into this job that's now marked as complete and say, okay, we want to invoice everything. We'll go create that invoice. And this is all coming from an inspection. So we've got an inspection and we're gonna be making uh, some money off of it. So we've just created this inspection. So what also happens, and we'll go a step further beyond what we were thinking about initially for our inspection, but we'll, let's go ahead and have the customer pay for it too. So if we come back here and refresh, we've got a new pay button here. And this is, this is our, uh, our QX56 truck that we were working on. So we're gonna say pay this, and we're gonna pay that. And of course, you know, all this can be done on the cell phone. The customer gets a text message on their cell phone. They just quick and easy take care of it. We've got this customer set up. This is our testing customer, credit card or PayPal. We're just gonna do credit card here. Put a fake credit card in there. And we're gonna submit that payment. Now we don't need to save that. So it's out there thinking, talking to the credit card company. And it has been applied. So it is now marked as paid. Payment of 840 30 cents applied to the invoice. If we go back to our, our tech portal, remember 11072, that is all going to be gone from our work list. Technician doesn't need to worry about that anymore. The If we go back here to our uh, shop portal, we can go uh, look at pull up the job and pull up the invoice. So it's marked as paid. Go look at the invoice. We've got the payment details here. It's been paid, everything's good. So that's a quick example of how you can use an invoice, or I'm sorry, use the inspection functionality within on the shop floor to, uh, to build an entire job uh, and have that taken care of. And uh, you know, drive this easy, but then